Hey everyone. So, today's video is about Scream 7 and what Spyglass and Paramount should do from here. To begin with, they should stop being cheap bastards and pay Nev Campbell what she deserves. This franchise has one of the best final girls of all time, and one of the longest tenured final girls as well. Nev has contributed significantly to the success of the franchise, and she should be respected more than this. The next move should be to get on your knees and beg for Melissa Barrera to come back and continue to make the Scream franchise successful. While I would argue Jenna Ortega is the primary reason the franchise's revival has been as successful as it has, Melissa Barrera has also contributed greatly due to her portrayal of Sam Carpenter. It's not all about Jenna. Anyway, if Spyglass and Paramount fail to bring back Barrera, it will make future success of the franchise uh, difficult to earn. Since Paramount and Spyglass have created their own problems with the franchise, they should be the ones to solve their own issues, but they probably won't bring back Melissa Barrera. A damn good solution would involve bringing back Stu Mocker as the villain, however. Yes, he's been alive all along and pulling the strings. This is what fans have wanted, and it's not too late for the franchise to be saved. In addition, if you're not going to bring back Melissa Barrera, retcon Stu uh, Dewey's death, excuse me, and bring him back. By not bringing back Barrera, and because Jenna Ortega has exited the franchise due to filming other films and her TV series Wednesday, Paramount and Spyglass have to move on from the story of Scream 5 and 6. In fact, it's not exactly hard to just say that the upcoming Scream movie is a direct sequel to Scream 3 or 4. That would create a separate timeline in the Scream universe and franchise, where Scream 6 could potentially be revisited one day. Now I know this isn't the most popular idea in retconning movies and creating timelines, what is this, Halloween? Anyway, but I'm not Spyglass and Paramount where I've dug myself into a hole. I didn't make their mistakes, they did. Continuing the story of Sam and Tara Carpenter is pretty fucking difficult to do at this point with neither actress returning. This is why I argue for making a direct sequel to Scream 3 or 4 where Stu is the mastermind villain again, fighting against Sydney, who now has Dewey back in her corner again. Anyway, I just wanted to make a, a quick video here and a short one as well. Let me know how you would fix this franchise and the mistakes of Spyglass and Paramount. Thank you for stopping by and listening. Make sure to wash your hands and don't touch your face. Thank you.